Oh, I got it. This is the Chasing M2 drone. It costs $2,500. This is the homemade PVC drone. It costs $100. I kind of like this one because I built it. I've made some submarines in the past, such as the Lego submarine and the Tozer submarine. They were not very practical submarines. This, however, is going to be a practical submarine, all analog. There's going to be no programming, no beagle bone, no Adreno, none of that stuff, because the goal is to make this thing as cheap as possible, but also function very well. I don't want anything complicated, so we're using PVC, some bilge pump motors, and some of these cool relays I found. They're actually self-contained. You just follow the diagram and you make them work. We're using a little bit of this total blood epoxy to seal it up and make it watertight. Now the really neat thing is I want to make this submarine work on a single ethernet cable. An ethernet cable has a possibility of like eight different connections. So I'm gonna have to get the left motor, the right motor, and the dive motor, and the camera all through this one single cable. It's time to Test the submarine parts. Found these four reverse relays. Oh no! The thing I'm very excited about is that the battery is actually on board with the submarine like the fancier ROVs that you can buy. So I plug this in and I have these four reverse relays. I have over a hundred feet of ethernet cable, which will transmit data to the sub, AKA tell the relays to go forward or reverse and send video signals to the surface. And I have these simple single pole double throw switches. So if I throw them in four, they do this. Hey look, it works! And the Ethernet cable has only eight lines of communication. Well, technically seven, because you know, you have the ground. So, I have just enough to make this work with video. Live video from the submarine. There's also a little bit of 3D printed parts too. If you want this, I'm gonna post the full Fusion file down below because it's kind of a mess. You can kind of figure out the designs and the dimensions from there too, but also anything will work. You don't need 3D printed if you decide to make one of these. Here's the wiring diagram, the important part. You're gonna know about this if you wanna recreate this. And really, the bill for this is about 100 bucks. And there's your submarine. So we have the PVC frames, brush bilge pump motors, some ballast, some Amazon flashlights, 3D printed parts, the Ethernet cable waterproof shroud, which is cheap. Ethernet cable, obviously. 100 feet of Ethernet cable. We have the battery inside and the relay tray. That's all in there. That's how it is controlled. And we have the submarine butt plug keep the water out. And in the front, we have a cheap GoPro housing that's not a real GoPro with a little FPV camera permanently embedded inside with wax, lots of wax. Now that the sub's complete, let's head off to the lake. We need to do a quick test and it's late as usual. Look at it go, it works. This thing works great. Look, it tracks perfectly straight. The aerodynamic fins work. It, it slightly goes down when I thrust forward. This water is just awful. I wish the water was clear, not total trash. Okay, well that didn't work out great. Let's go to a different lake that's a little bit more clear because I know we can get some better results with this lake. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go out there and just dive. Yeah, look, it's trash. <laughs> Alright, I think we're coming up. No, we're still floating around down there. So I still have directional control, so we still got communication. I can definitely go down. It doesn't want to come up. How deep is that? Oh my, it's way under there. <laughs> nope, we're dry. We're good. So that's... That's cool, it's working so far. No, I don't know how deep that is. So the sub works. It's only been in fresh water so far, but it's time to load up and head over to Miami. This video is gonna be about treasure hunting. I think Miami is a great place to do it because of possible murder weapons in the water. So we're gonna try to find it on this road trip. 
gonna fit, right? It's so close. I forgot I had the uh, mask back there with the light on it. I want to do a quick test because I need to see how this stuff performs in salt water. It's going to be a little more buoyant because salt water can displace a little bit more than regular fresh water. So I want to make sure it works and everything's okay. Yeah, so just a world of trash down there and really nothing much else. Okay, so that was a success. The sub works all right. It's still working. I have to clean the motors off. It's very important that if you run brush motors in salt water or any water for that matter, you clean them off when you're done. That's the only real maintenance I need to do in this sub so far. So we've done a little exploration with the submarine. Now we need a way to recover the trash we find. So I devised this little thing on the front of the sub with a magnet, some fishing bobbers, and an auxiliary mason's line. The plan is to take the sub, explore, look around, see what looks interesting, and try to click onto it if it's a ferrous material, which is basically magnetic, and then we reel in with this. SIG 365, away! You can see the sub is in the water. I unfortunately dropped this full of wire, but we're gonna clip onto this gun anyways. Oh, I got it. Okay, so that works. Oh, uh, come on. Got it. Look, it's working. And look, I found a prize. Okay, let's go do this for real now. It's time to go on the hunt. So I have the little grabber thing and let's see what we can find in the water. Okay, so we're at the bottom now. I we got this thing worked out. I'm just kind of exploring, but there's just nothing but lots of trash around here. Aquatic trash. We found some treasure. Check it out, look, a shopping cart. I don't think we can recover that. I think we can. Let's try this recovery method here. I'm gonna click this magnet on this. Are shopping carts magnetic? Yes. All right, we're about to find out. Okay, the magnet's on it. Your retrieval magnet is now on the device. So go ahead and reel that sucker up, Sam. I'm gonna use the 700 pound magnet on right. a leash. Oh, I see what you're doing. All right, go in for the sploosh. Hang on, I gotta back up. This is really, really heavy. Okay, let's see what you've got, Sam. Oh, I can't pull it anymore. Oh, look Wait, at that is thing. it up? Yeah, oh. it's pretty much up. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. And so we managed to find a shopping cart. You can thank me later, Ocean. I cleaned up some trash. Hashtag Team C's, hashtag Team C's. Peter built this ROV entirely from PVC. He worked all day, he worked all night, but finished the sub, did he? Soon may the ROV go to places that are deep below. Camera with auxiliary lights to take a dive below. It's been tested minimally, but down it went to Miami. Tossed it into that big ocean, he watched it dive away. That sub will take a trip investigating sunken ships Find some trash on the ocean floor then pick it up and go Finally out a battery that sub was pulled out of the sea Made a lot of memories let's pack it up and go There's one more thing we gotta do because I know some people probably be curious how far can the submarine dive? So we're gonna go over to Wikiwash, Florida, and then we're gonna send it down to Hospital Hole, a really, really deep hole in this freshwater spring. It's kind of crazy. We're gonna see if this PVC thing is going to collapse and its innards are gonna be full of water by the time we bring it back up. I'm gonna weigh it so it just drops on its own so I don't have to expend energy to get down there. We're just gonna set it 90 feet straight down to the bottom. We're gonna look around a little bit and then re reel it back up. <laughs> Okay, so we're going down right now. It's doing pretty good so far. A little bit deeper. It's kind of fun watching the dial go because this is just a dive gauge for like a diver. And well, we're at 80 feet. Cool, I guess it's working. Actually, there's only one slight hiccup. For some reason, 
the lift motor's kicking on for some reason, so I guess it's just gonna come up on its own, and we'll see what's up with that. Hopefully it's still dry on the inside. Inside here, it is completely dry. So 80 feet's no problem, so I can just keep adding onto the tether. A submarine built out of the most basic parts, such as brush motors, ethernet cables, which came from Micro Center, our sponsor for this video. Did you know that there's actually something better than Amazon? It's called Micro Center, where you can go in store, you can look at the stuff you wanna buy, you can ask experts about the things you want, and then you can buy it all in the same day. A store that has tons of electronics, PC stuff for building your own PC, DIY electronics such as servos, LEDs, and other components like Adrenos for building all of your own doodads and custom things. It's the cable I need for my sub. And my favorite part, 3D printers. Did you know almost all of my projects feature Micro Center PLA? I even bought my first 3D printer from Micro Center in 2016. That was actually a lol spot, TAS 6. Still working to this day. And even my latest 3D printer, a Creality V3 Pro, is from Micro Center. The best thing about Micro Center is if you don't know something about your computer builds or whatever it is you're trying to do, they usually have plenty of professionals or nerds in store. That's why I do love up Micro Center because I've got tons of help. Sometimes I don't understand the PC build or something component was not working right and I got expert help right then and there. I like having the insurance that someone knows more than me to help me with my project or whatever it is I'm doing. Even if Micro Center is too far away and you still prefer to use Amazon, you can even get their awesome inland filament on their Amazon store, link down below. If you're a new customer to Micro Center, they're offering a 128 gigabyte SD card and micro SD card to new customers. New customers only. Notice purchase is necessary. Limit time offer. Valid in store only. Limit one coupon per customer. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or <laughs> hop into your car, drive to Micro Center, and pick up some awesome PLA today and see what they have in store. You might just find some amazing presents for you or someone you know who's a nerd. I'm a nerd. Very satisfied with my sub build. Happy this thing works. I might try to make a faster, more better submarine using possibly an Adreno or a Beagle Bone and a Raspberry Pi in the future, but that's a subject for another video because that's gonna cost more money and that's a lot more expensive. This is the deep dive into making one as cheap as possible, but also one that functions fairly well because this is a lot, a lot more different. If you wanna check this thing out, you can buy one of these things at Urban Drones, but they also have them in other places and they also have different models of submarines. So check them out. Huge thanks for them to hooking me up with some of these spare parts for this sub because I definitely needed them. I know we didn't quite find any guns or anything fun. We found the shopping cart, obviously. If you guys have any tips or somewhere else I should send to dive the submarine, I'm all ears for that because I might possibly build a more fancier, better submarine in the future. Yeah, that's it. You can go away now. So I think it's been underwater for a while. Well, that's not my boat. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go inside. We're going inside. There's the stairs. Come up a little bit. All right, let's go inside. I feel like James Cameron on the Titanic. Nope, I'm freaking stuck. This isn't good. 